It seems his... her... the collection has expanded since the war camps. Only six more preview chapter releases until Dragonsteel! Speaking of Dragonsteel, we'll get to that. Thanks, Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dallin, Ars, Butt, Moochie, Chris, Meathy, Carone, Gallant, Aegis, the son of James, Lex, Aaron, Talap, and 42. Chapter 25. Shallan enters the Ghostblood safe house. Similar to her first encounter with Mraze, though with more unknown trophies on the shelves. Let the theorizing commence! A silvery horn or claw from some great beast. The claw of a dragon? How did they get that? That must be dragon steel. A chunk of light red crystal, like pink salt, though of a deeper, more vibrant color. A chunk of rosite, of course. We've seen that before. A violet stone egg, partly crystalline, with silver swirling around its shell. A dragon's egg? Probably a lesser dragon, because greater dragons give live birth in human form. Drew brings up Shodell in the reactor read-along, and we know precious little about them, so... Maybe? A fat, succulent leaf that pulsed red and seemed to radiate heat. No idea. Maybe something from Canticle, or Komashi, or Ashen, or somewhere we've never heard of? <laughs> a vial of pale sand she now recognized as having a very practical application. That's becoming more and more common for being from a planet you can't get to, last we heard. Fascinating that in order to keep up a subterfuge, you have to make sure you're not drawing the wrong spren. And impressive that Gaz was able to draw Anger Spren. Mraze is practicing with a Thaland Hand Ballista, which is basically a crossbow, but bigger. Or at least it's capable of shooting larger payloads, such as bolts with gemstones on them. I wonder if we've met the other Ghost Blood agents before. Stolen Purse, Icy Tongue, Chain. Shallan, thanks to the lingering presence of Vale, realizes that Mraze, Ayatil, and the rest are also just people. She sees Felt report back to Mraze. They already know everything, honey. Felt further identifies himself as a Skadrian world hopper with the phrase Rust coin. He's apparently a reluctant participant with this branch of the Ghostbloods. Ale, the Sion, wants a pony. I get it. Mraes leaves Azora in charge, with the knowledge that they may not make it back from the mission for Mishram. That's met with some resistance and clarification. We should be working on our plan to transport Stormlight off-world, now that we know it can be blanked of identity and transferred between realms. How do you blank Stormlight? Aluminum has to be involved somehow, right? Also, Kelsier's branching into green investiture. Renewable is the future! Though apparently he also approves of this course. No secrets, says Icy Tongue. Oh, honey, there's always another secret. Then Ayatil comes over to have a chat with definitely not Shalon in Malwish. Jump to Dalinar and Navani, who are worried about the whole ascension thing. He says he feels something beyond honor guiding him implications. I love that they make analogies toward each other's expertise. They're adorable. Dalinar wonders if it's possible to ascend and then descend. Wit references what I assume is Vin giving up the power at the Well of Ascension, calling it the most selfless thing I believe I've ever witnessed. He wasn't there though, was he? He'd passed through the well and snagged his bead of lorassium weeks before that. And does Kelsier giving it up not count because he's a cognitive shadow? Regardless, I doubt Hoyd would deign to acknowledge it. Navani convinces Dalinar that she's coming with him because he will need a scholar. Wouldn't Yasna be the better choice if he wants a historian? Wit's going to help them with a test run. We'll see. Chapter 26. Shallan BSs her way through a conversation in a foreign language. Sounds kind of Germanic, which I guess would make sense if Skadrian is French. She outs Sia Anat, and Ayatil and Marais start to grill the unmade for info, letting slip to Shallan that she's watching Dalinar, and they both have bonded Spren. Ayatil comes back over for a chat. It seems the Mishram mission is Ayatil's idea. And the jig is up. We'll find out how Shallan manages to escape next week, though she better watch out for Mraze's already acquired anti-stormlight ballista bolt. It's not Chekhov's gun, it's Chekhov's crossbow. We'll see when we read and find out.